guys. I have yeah. done it. Have I have achieved done, my ultimate goal. I have made a scarecrow character. <gasps> look at this boy! <gasps> Look at him! I want all of you to look at him! Jordy, if that is too scary for this video, we must put you into no, the no, asylum no, grounds. No, 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 don't, don't no. stop her. She's on a roll. Just it bring, let the hatred flow through you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, there you go. I knew that was, I knew that was going to come back. My way. You dare challenge Jack of the Green? Oh, jeez. Oh, you, you must die. You must die. Anyway. Hang on. Okay, there it goes. The textures took a second to load. PS4 Pro, I wish I had, but hey, PS5 is coming out this year, so I don't even have to worry about it. So That's yeah, fun. welcome to the Asylum Grounds, where we will meet probably one of the more interesting characters in the entire game, the, ja the Jack of the Green. And honestly, yeah, out of everything that they remastered, I am probably the most impressed with how they remastered him for this. No kidding, because like, we'll see him in just a moment, see, but the yeah. first thing that comes to mind when I see him speak, speak out his riddles... I immediately think of freaking Knuckle Attack from Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, but for oh, those for those that need the reminder, huh? he's the guy. He's oh, the Toast Arena boss. The not Andros yeah. thing that you find fight yeah. on the ground. And also, geez, these things are tough. And yep. uh, by the way, you have to be careful of dragon hedges. <laughs> oh, Dra <laughs> yeah, dragon. He oh, <laughs> I get it. Dragon heads, dragon hedges. Yeah, oh, I see, I see the wordplay yeah. so, you did here, game. Anyway, we are stuck and must ask for help from Jack. Of the green. Hey, Jack. Greetings, Sir Fortescue. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this is chilly you animation techniques. You are yeah. Leave, but only well, because he's all—he's a giant stone. He, even more so than the gargoyles, he's like a giant stone head. So they do this really. Oh wait, wait for it. Anyway, <laughs> but I, I love the I love the stop motion esque animation style they went for. Yeah, same here. Like honestly, this this feels like it feels like I'm watching a fucking Rankin Bass short all over again. Kind of yeah, night. So all right, so Jordy, what? Uh, try and answer this riddle before I give away the answer. At night they are fetched, but by day they are gone without being stolen. What are they? By night they are. What's that again? Here's a hint. He so, just bashed one of them. At night, at night they are brought, but never. I, I forget the exact wording, but at night they are care. At night they appear without being asked to, and at, and by day they are stolen. They are gone without, without being, being stolen. stolen. Um, I'm kind of stumped. Oh, stars! Yeah. Yay. So yeah, so so this level is kind of an interesting one where what happens is. Uh, it's still the platformer action stuff, but what we do is directly uh, related to solving these riddles. So, as th for this first riddle, I need to find all five of the hedges shaped like stars and bash them. And mm -hmm. unlike the unlike the stuff we do with, say, the Sphinx and Odyssey, these are oh, actual boy. riddles. Oh yeah, and I probably shouldn't be whacking this bell because it summons enemies. But then again, I really want to fill up the chalice. Yeah, I was about so to I say, like it helps them. with chalice filling, if anything else. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's their dinner bell. Hang on. Is there any more? Oh, oh there he there's is. a straggler. Dun, 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 These freaking hedge keepers. Mm -hmm. um, and your grave in looted. Garden. I think you forgot of to course. hit that star earlier, dude. I'll have to go back. Okay, I'll second. I do, oh, jeez. Uh, it's I a Xerox oh. hedge. Oh. Not quite okay, as intimidating as the real thing. No one mm. more. The two green. Okay, and that's when I realized. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy in the back. In the back here. Again, I do. I, I still applaud the freaking audio work for this game. Oh yeah, no. The, the, again, the dynamic music, the classic voice acting, still great. And yeah. Now we gotta answer his next puzzle. Uh, it's kind of a sore loser. For those of the, uh, for those that actually are too young to play this, yeah, this is this is the kind of stuff that'll definitely trick you. Mm -hmm. Without. Without the crowd, without laughter, I am nothing. I remember this particular riddle being a tad devious. Well, it's a little vague. But well, before we get to it, what do you think uh, that is, Jordan? A person that lives for laughter and is nothing without it. Uh, aside from a joker? You're um, close. Uh, that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it, Jordy. Yep. An ent a, a comedy entertainer. Like or us. In this or, huh, or in this case, a clown. 
Ah, oh, okay. But so yeah, this this yeah. part here is a little devious. Shared You'll see why in just a moment. Assuming Logan. By surrounding him with. I'm going to cheese it because I know the right order to do it anyway. Okay. But what happens is, all the 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 catch to this is, once these things turn to the happy face, they they will automatically rotate back on their own to the frowny face at different times. Ah. Right. And the idea being, so in there, I do in that order. So yay. But yeah, so to, show, so to kind of so to, so to kind of explain it, Jordy, like the middle one there. Let's say the middle one would flip. Huh, let's say the middle one would flip in like two seconds, whereas the one I just hit at the start wouldn't flip until like thirty seconds had passed. The idea being that you would want to flip the ones that last the longer first. That way, they'll still be up by the time you flip the shorter ones. Ah, oh, okay. I know that was because if I like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast. Yet vermin frighten me. Hmm. Legs like a tree. Face like a tree. Face, face like a tree. Skin like the sea. Mm. Skin like the sea. A giant beast mm. that's afraid of vermin. Hmm. This is a, cow, a tough one. An ostrich with a suitcase. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Here, let, here. Let's focus on here. Let's focus on like one part of it at a time. So, what is a what is an animal that has a face like a tree, mm. or has something re or has something related to a tree on its face? I don't know. I'll give yeah, you. I'll give you a hint. Through. It was. He was the. He was the star of a Disney movie once. That kind of narrows it down. Okay, uh. how about this, Jordan? What animals do you know of that are scared of small things? Like Elephants. This mouse. There you go. Oh, See, oh I, get face has a, I get it. Its face has a trunk. Oh, by the way, for this, part, for, this part, so for this part only, uh, this field will be infested with cats. And you have to guide this rat to the elephant that uh, Jack speaks of. Yeah. Otherwise, the cats will eat it. You can't attack the cats, though. Right. They're, why would you attack cats? They did nothing to you. Dude, dude. So I just have to be very careful and make sure this guy doesn't bother me. Neither do you two. Both of the, you. They back. can't. The, the the villagers here won't be able to hurt the mouse though. Right. But they're just gonna be a nuisance. Yeah. And don't worry. If the if the rat does die, uh, then you can just run right back to where you found it and uh, just pick it up again. And but there we go. Behold. Oh God! It's a mouse. You spot my bluff. Oh, hang on. I pretended. <laughs> yeah, he's a sore loser. <laughs> yes, he is. I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Oh, Please get that from me away from me, because sure, it hurts my ears. <laughs> so, right, real, I mean, real talk, that's the only real reason why elephants and mice don't exactly have a good relationship. It's not because they're scared of them, they just they can't stand the sound that they make. Yeah, they have very sensitive ears. That I mean, they, are, makes they are pretty big. That is true. Imagine how, how bad it has to be for poor Dumbo. I mean, his sidekick is a goddamn mouse. Imagine if a mouse crawled in their ear. Oh, oh that God. I Wait. tolerate the moon and oh. stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. Okay, so something that is okay with the moon and stars, but does not like it when the sun's around. This is, one of, those, this you, is it, one of those this is one of those riddles that, I mean, sounds really fucking cryptic, but in actual matter of fact, it's actually really fucking obvious. Yeah. It's also the. It's also. Let's be honest. It's also one of the riddles that you're gonna accidentally solve. Wake up! You're gonna accidentally Wake up, sleepy solve. Bones. Get up! It. It's also the kind of riddle where you're gonna accidentally. Uh, oh, look out! Bum. Oh, jeez. There we go. You're going to accidentally solve the actual in-game like puzzle action before you actually uh, figure out what the riddle was asking of you in the first place. I'm yeah. not, I. I thought it would have been an instance where it's like you would have figured it out before he gave it to you. It's like. It's like. The moon and oh, no, the answer. Well, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. But yeah, no, that's the thing. Like, you don't. That's like, I guess kind of the fun thing is that you don't actually need to know the answers to these riddles to actually solve them here. Heal up, cut that out, because otherwise it'd be just a bunch of standing around. And we're gonna head in here. Okay. Behold. Super dark. And we don't like the dark. Also, just for a second, just being quiet for a second here. God, this music is incredible. That is, some, that, mm -hmm. that is some seriously epic uh, puzzle solving music right here. <laughs> it's music he is push the block! Look, this is like, the music oh, that like, you listen to to save for the SATs. Like, like shit, Intelligent Cube would like to give a toast. <laughs> oh yeah, jeez, I forgot about that one. That, that And the, real quick, that one was on the PlayStation Classic, right? Yes, yes it is. It was the last game okay. we played for that thing. 
And that probably was probably the only reason why I don't don't really don't on, automatically regret my purchase, even though I ended up I've, I've already Ooh. sold it. Yeah, it was, the answer was darkness, so we banished it with light. There My guess go. was shadows for some reason, but I guess I mean, that's part of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, they're one, of, they're mostly one of the same. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Jack is unfortunately very bitter. So, yeah. You free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Ooh. So by that he means. Yes. So by that I mean. So. <laughs> so by that he means he'll open up the last passageway I need to finally enter the asylum where the mayor is being held kept. But, but not first, you have to solve a little more... puzzle. Yeah. Now it's time this to play some chess. This one's not too bad. Like, okay, Jordy, I assume you know how chess pieces move. Yes, I do. Okay, so the red's a queen. We have a rook, a bishop, and a king. So, and once they move on to their spaces, they'll stay locked there. Yeah. So, of course, the rook can only go in cardinal directions or cardinal directions. Those can go, can go diagonal. 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 And kings just and, and kings just move freaking slow. Oh. Batch. I also oh. love the sounds of like oi, 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 oi. There we go. Dead. <laughs> where, where we and there we go. The, the maze is completed. And we're into the asylum. Oh. But first, let's go heroes. turn in our chalice. Okay. Because it's time to hopefully get something better than what we did. Because the shield is cool and mm, all, but it's chalices. not really. It's not really the most usual. So I think we're now halfway through. Oh. I think there are twenty chalices in all. Gosh, darn it, Fortescue! We just finished cleaning those. You jawless arrow you might need it. I just oh jeez, it's my turn again. <gasps> oh, we're actually going up to meet one of Hype's favorite characters. Ooh. Who's gonna give us a pretty neat little upgrade? Okay, here he is. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Fortisca. Eh? I wanna talk with you. <laughs> Man, you could not get any more haggis filled in your voice. No, that won't be till the next character, but Fortisca. I don't, I don't know. Devil <laughs> what a metal name. He is just coughing up all sorts of fucking haggis. With the king! Come on, what are you going to do? The axe at this point in this game is actually pretty handy. Oh yeah. For a I want to say this guy's kind of based on a Mongol warrior. I think the helmet, is? or maybe. Uh, anyway. I, again, this is the same. This is the same schmuck that got that died died while trying to attack only with his uh, helmet, right? Helmet. Yeah. So yeah, basically the axe is basically. Do you remember the arm that we used to have? Basically, mm -hmm. imagine that, but as an actually useful weapon. Oh yeah, no, this Makes this sense. baby's in, this baby's pretty pretty good for this uh, part of the portion of the game. Because and it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I can't guarantee it's gonna be that much more helpful for this next level. But I mean, it'll definitely uh, chop off some heads. Cause now we're in for a gauntlet. Oh boy! Into the asylum. Bing ring. You're Which has flowing thing. lava, apparently. You're the first in Galamir's history to check themselves into the asylum. The other inmates are certain to enjoy your company briefly. Briefly. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not joking, folks. This is a bona fide gauntlet we're going to be going through here. They throw a lot of mooks at you. Dude. I guess they it's hurt. a good thing we got that axe then. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure we're dealing with sort of like the grunts right now, but I think for this level only, they jack up like the hurt, like the hurt rate pretty badly to the point where. Okay, maybe not as bad as I thought, but like again, they they throw these fuckers in growth, so you're gonna have to really, well, you know, give them give them just as much uh, lethality. My goodness, do, 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 there's so do, do, many do. of them. And I real and I realize Logan's once again gone here because I I'm sure he would not want to be admitted to the asylum. A devil diamond. So yeah, basically, but thankfully because of the fact that this is a gauntlet, this is probably one of the easier chalices to get in the game. Oh yeah, no, dude. I think the challenge is, almost, is more or less guaranteed in this level. 
Mm -hmm. But also be careful because, yeah, not only do you have to deal with the mooks, they also have cannon cannons in places and they'll actually fire cannonballs at you. So be sure to mind where you're at while you're hacking and slashing. Yeah, you're going to have to be doing a lot of uh, uh, bopping and jiving in this level. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm whatever sorry. You do... I was going to say, I'm sorry. I know you said cannonballs, but it sounded like you said cannibals. Well, there are cannibals in here, I'm sure, but... Yeah, it's true. Anyway, what are we saying? How about we call upon the power of our chicken drumstick? Or not. There you go. It turns no, out into it. chicken. See? Mm -hmm. That could have been better. There. There we Whoa. go. Yeah, I was about to say, it, it just has a bit of a delayed timer, I think. Not, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's partially the reason why I think the chicken drumstick isn't quite as good as it could be. Like... Like, it, yeah, it's essentially a screen nuke that turns every, like, most enemies on screen into chicken dump, dump, uh, drums sticks, but it's like, I feel like the radius could be a lot bigger. I also will say to the original's cred, I feel like the timer in the original was a lot quicker. A, or it a felt bit. quicker, anyway. I mean, yeah. I just think that, considering the fact that I don't think it, you're actually, it's actually possible to refill the, um, how many drumsticks you can use at a time, I think it would make sense if they, if they were just the OP screen nuke weapon. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in addition, in addition to the asylum inmates, now you got a bunch of devil damn bats flying around, which, as we all know, kind of makes the auto lock have a bit of a fit. Yeah, I mean it's a good thing they do st still leave out the, the occasional vial to help get you back up, but it's like just again, this is all this is honestly a level where having like having your shield at the ready can definitely be one of your biggest saviors. Oh yeah, and let's Ooh, not forget boy. the fucking quarter, the quarterback head, headless. Oh my ones. goodness! Oh yeah, excuse me, the, the headless quarterbackers. They, Why and they are they definitely... quarterbackers in the middle of the Because they hit like trucks. Because yep. they hit like trucks, and I mean, honestly, their bodies look like they're they're built for the built for the sport. Yeah, I was about to say they they have really so thick sorry builds. About that. There well, you back. Hey. Welcome, Logan, I'm to the asylum itself. Yeah, I had like sorry, I had like two or three like I had like two or three people trying to call Actually, me all at the same second. time. Jeez. No worries, then hype will ta tag out for this one. So, yes, if they haven't already addressed it, this is basically a giant freaking gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the this is the game's obligatory enemy gauntlet. We gotta do it. Fortunately, it's the only level like it. Yeah, and honestly, considering considering the fact, like this is pretty much an, a guaranteed uh, chalice pickup. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, just so long as yeah. Oh, do it right. Oh god. Oh no, yeah. The crazy. What are those? These They're are crazy the people. They're just crazy people that will just headbutt you and actually do. Be careful; they can actually do a surprising a lot of damage with their heads. But mm -hmm. why? Honestly, with <laughs> the hairs look funny. Because, because they're, they're crazy yeah. people, right? They're the crazies. They're the, they're the natural inhabitants of the asylum. Uh, do you and really yeah. expect? Do you really expect an asylum inmate to look okay? <laughs> I mean, I don't expect them to look too eccentric. I do, I do like this. I do like this level for how the music just continues to get more and more just intense as the battles continue. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. now we have the final, uh, oh, we have the final yeah. gauntlet. Mind that, mind, mind, cannon, mind, that, mind that lava on the floor, and, and yes. again the double damn cannons. Cannons will fire a lot of damage at you, and yes, lava is an instant life bottle lost. Oh Ooh. my gosh, it fell in the lava! His legs are yeah. on fire! Like, whoa, he went fire! They're like, what kind of fire? And there goes Holly off the park! <laughs> oh god! I jumped too early. I'll just get those. I'll just, I'll be okay. And, thank you, good sir. Anyway, oh jeez. What were you saying, yeah, Steve? Like, nah. Come on, yeah. tell us, please! Nah, I'm good. Okay. And I believe I showed off the chicken a little bit oh. as well, right? Yeah, you did, and you and you did clearly showed that it's not as potent as it could be. It's situational at best. And now we're done. That's the Thank piece goodness. Of there's the chalice. Because... There's a key. Now where's Damn. that fat? So where's the fat man himself? There he He's is. He's in here, guarded by the earth rune. Oh my goodness, his hat. The mayor. God, look at that face! Look at that face ratio. Compare that to. Tried to force me to hand over the shadow artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted. Look at that! The dude looks like he could fucking eat Dan's head. Among other things. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Yeah, it probably wasn't the one. I'm honestly surprised the dude hasn't gone nutters himself. In weeks, you say? Right. 
Do you know how many snacks I missed? <laughs> oh, sure, you missed a ton of snacks. I mean, look at yourself. Also, I joke about that. That basically is his characterization in the remake of... Also, not this also remake, he, but the PSP one. Uh, also, he's taking... Also, he's taking... Oh, cool, Dragon Gem, the second one we need. Also, wow, he's taking seeing... Wow, he's also taking seeing, you know, the hero of Galamir as a skeleton pretty well. Well, considering... I mean, considering what he felt... Considering what he dealt with beforehand with Zarek and his monster minions going after him, I feel like at this point he wouldn't be quite that phased. Nah. Fair. So, with that said, let's go back to the Hall of Heroes one last time for this part and rock the table. Off with the table. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh that's my that's favorite that was... number! Uh, Yay! Sir? Well, Eleven? Sir? Yes. Um, you do realize we... I, I, it's my turn to clean the cups now. You probably shouldn't... Oh, he still did it. Hang on. Sorry, yeah, Danny Kim. Sorry. Sorry, I have to take advantage of how they program physics for all those guys. It's so fun. And he's in. Let us go back to... Uh, no, not him. Ow. In due What's time. his face? Do, 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 do. Raven Hooves. Yeah, Raven I think we've talked about... I think we've talked about this, but you genuinely go to Raven Hooves. Like, I think... Two times more than every other freaking guy in this whole chapel. Yeah, yeah. Because, oh, primarily no. because he actually does give you alterations to your uh, arrows. For instance, yeah. we have the flaming Ooh, longbow now. Flaming longbow. Does I like double that. damage to most enemies, and as you can imagine, is really good against plant and wood based guys. Ooh. And if you charge it up, it deals a little fiery explosion. Boom. Oh, nice. And with, and with that, the Hall of Heroes just went on fire. <laughs> hey, for so. this game, we just reimposted everything. <laughs> so with that said join us in the next part when we will now be returning to the enchanted forest because it's probably good that somebody go to that shadow demon temple thingy and make sure that it's locked up properly yeah <laughs> see you guys bye till next time now we got to go to ikea